The act of removing one's shirt in celebration of a goal seems harmless enough, right? Wrong. In the world of football, this seemingly innocuous act can land a player in hot water with the ref, resulting in a dreaded yellow card. It might seem unfair after all, who is the player harming by bearing his chest to the world? But in the eyes of the IFAB, the governing body that sets the rules of the game, taking your shirt off is a big no-no. But here's the kicker. Even if your goal is disallowed by VAR, pulling your jersey over your head can still get you in trouble with the ref. And here are the reasons for the yellow card. So, firstly, players are advised to avoid excessive celebrations in football. Taking off one's shirt after scoring a goal is unnecessary and players should refrain from displaying excessive joy on the pitch. Although it may seem harmless to take off one's shirt in celebration, especially after scoring a crucial goal such as Aguero's goal to secure the 2011-12 Premier League title or Iniesta's winning goal for Spain at the 2010 World Cup, it's still a violation of the rules. Even CR7, after breaking the record for the most international goals, was given a yellow card. It appears that FIFA doesn't love a crucial goal. Secondly, there is a more practical reason why taking off your shirt should be booked. Just ask Diego Forlan, who had some trouble getting his shirt back on after scoring his first goal for Manchester United against Aston Villa in 2002. Forlan was so excited about the goal that he ripped off his shirt and ran around half naked for a good minute or so, with his shirt flapping in the wind like a superhero cape. It was hilarious to say the least, but according to FIFA, this was a serious matter. See, the squad numbers on a player's jersey are there for a reason, to help the refs identify who's on the pitch. If everyone started taking off their shirts like Fordlan, the refs would be more confused than a toddler in a toy store. So, to avoid any more embarrassing incidents like Fordlan's, FIFA implemented a new rule in 2004. No more shirtless celebrations. We know, we know, it's a bummer. Another reason could be a political one. Some players use their undershirts to send a message to the world. For instance, Robbie Fowler once revealed a shirt that showed his support for the Liverpool Dockers strike. And let's not forget Shakiri's Eagle celebration, which caused a stir amongst Serbians. The Eagle celebration represented Albania as the flag has a double-headed eagle on it. This was seen as provocative by Serbians and many people were enraged by it. FIFA cannot control what players put on their undershirts, so the only solution is to show them a yellow card. But not all messages are about drama. Lionel Messi once took off his shirt to reveal a Newell's Old Boy shirt in tribute to his late friend Diego Maradona. And Raheem Sterling also paid tribute to his late friend during England's World Cup qualifying game against Hungary. Sure, most messages are harmless, but the IFAB doesn't want to take any chances. If players keep flashing their undershirts, they'll be seeing yellow cards left, right and centre. But here's the deal. When a player scores a goal, everyone's eyes are glued on them. And let's face it, the pics of their celebrations are what make the news headlines. But if the player decides to go shirtless, the sponsor's logo doesn't get seen. And that's bad news for the sponsor because they want as many eyeballs on their brand as possible. Some people think that sponsors may have had a say in FIFA's decision to punish shirtless players. I mean, it does kind of make sense, right? And guess what? Female football players aren't exempt from the no shirt removal rule either. If they remove their shirts on the pitch, they'll be hit with a yellow card just like their male counterparts. In fact, in the thrilling Women's Euros 2022 final showdown between England and Germany, the unstoppable Chloe Kelly made the winning goal and had a moment of triumph, but she had to keep her jersey on due to the rules. Nonetheless, you need to be remindful of the fact that the reason why the IFAB has made taking off your shirt a bookable offence is not very clear, so we can only guess why they created the rule. Ok, ok, that's more than enough info for today. While you're at it, please like the video if you found it informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any videos we post.